Uh, Fadi, nice to meet you and thank you for your time. How good is it back to be back here in Liverpool and in the unfamiliar surroundings of this new training ground? Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, now I'm just uh, looking, watching uh, uh, around. It's a fantastic building here. It's my first time here and uh, I think uh, these facilities are great. You know, it's completely different uh, than, uh, than it was at, uh, at Melwood. Uh, it's bigger and it's, uh, it's really nice. Uh, I am jealous a little bit. <laughs> just, just speaking there about Melwood, take us back to your first day going into Melwood. What mm. was it like? What are your memories? And who was it that maybe impressed you on the pitch that first training session? Well, the pitch was great, but what surprised me a little bit, that was the building. You know, the dressing room, they was like simple, uh, old, old fashioned. You know, uh, we had only the three bars, you know, no, no swimming pool, nothing, you know, nothing modern like, like these days. So it was quite, uh, I was quite surprised. But it was like old uh, fashioned, uh, you know, dressing rooms and everything. And was that first training session, just take us back to that and yeah. what were your thoughts like when, you, you know, you're alongside some of these players that maybe you, you, you knew about but you hadn't played with before and what was the yeah. intensity of the session, anything that took you by surprise? Yeah, no, of course I was a little bit nervous because uh, uh, it's always when you arrive to a new club, you go for the first session and uh, around you suddenly... It's Michael Owen, uh, Robbie Fowler, uh, uh, Jamie Redknapp are all the you know, type of the world-class players and uh, you don't know, you know if you'll be good enough with them and you know, how they take you in the team. So yeah, uh, it was, uh, but I, I was looking forward to, to play with these guys. So uh, you know, I was nervous on one side, but on the other side I was confident uh, I, can, I can be okay with them. And are you nervous to be back at Anfield playing <laughs> tomorrow? Where have you played recently? I don't know how rusty are you? <laughs> yes, uh, you know, I played two years ago when we played AC Milan, but I'm two years older now. <laughs> two years older and, you know, I'll be, I be 50 next year. So if you know, you may play against the players. If you, they, they are, for example, 36, 37 in front of the cup. You don't want to, you know, you want to be up for it. You know? So we'll see, we'll see tomorrow, but it's always a pleasure to, to be back at Anfield and... Uh, it's fantastic that uh, the club gave us this opportunity for us, for Express, still enjoying the feeling play at Anfield, especially in front of 50,000 fans. So it's fantastic. I have to thank you for that. And uh, not only me, I think all the players, we are really looking forward. And uh, uh, when you finish uh, playing, you're always missing you know, these uh, opportunities to, to play in front of the stadium, full stadium. And... Uh, now we will have the chance tomorrow, so looking forward to it. It's okay. We just spoke to Maxi, and he only retired a few months ago, so he's going to be doing all of the running for you, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope so. I hope so. I, I was just uh, I met yesterday Aldo, John Aldrich, and uh, John Barnes, and they be our coaches. I said. Hey guys, 15, 20 minutes for me, it's, it's good, 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 good. At the end, when everyone is tired, then let me go. <laughs> it wouldn't be possible for me to speak to you tonight without mentioning that famous word, Istanbul. And if you could mm -hmm. just take us back to that night. And also, if you can clear up the story of you going into Taksim Square after the game and celebrating with the fans. Oh, well... Uh, well, Istanbul, what do you even say? I, I said many times everything. Uh, <laughs> well, I, for me, it was the last game for Liverpool. That's what is my memory and I wanted to do well. Uh, I wanted to say thank you to the fans with some, some, some performances. Of course, I knew I, 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 couldn't, I, can't, I will not start the game. But when uh, after 20 minutes, Harry Q got injured. Then uh, when I was used as his first sub, I was surprised a little bit. <laughs> But then I said to myself, hey, Vladi, what, what an opportunity, you know, you play Champions League final, uh, last game for Liverpool, let's, 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 let's show you that you are, you are a good player. And of course, at halftime, maybe we are feeling down, uh, you know, we are disappointed. But the second half, we, we turn around the things. Uh, Benitez did a good job, a great job at the halftime. I think he changed the team. We, we played different shape and... Uh, we, he, we put uh, Didi Haman playing on Kaka and uh, suddenly uh, we started to play, play well. Uh, Steve G scored his other. I scored. When I knew when I scored, it was 3 2. That we, it's like, you know, it's, uh, it's momentum for us and we're going to score the third one. But scored three goals against a big side of AC Milan in six minutes. It was something special. It was a little bit of a miracle. Uh, as we say, the miracle of Istanbul. But then. It was uh, it was fight until the end. You know, extra time they were they were going hard on us. Uh, they didn't want to go into the penalties. AC Milan players. They they knew 
uh, they have a chance to beat us maybe. And uh, Jesse Dudek made a fantastic save against Shevchenko. And when he made this save, I said, oh, the cup will be ours. We will win this, this cup, that's for sure. And uh, on penalties, uh, it's sometimes lottery, but uh, Jesse again did, did, did a great job. Uh, and uh, AC Milan plus missed three. I scored one. And I knew uh, if Shevchenko scores, then Stevie G hopefully will score the, his, his penalty, but uh, didn't need it. Uh, Shevchenko missed his penalty and we won the cup. I scored a practically winning penalty. My last kick for Liverpool, winning penalty in the Champions League final. What do you want more? <laughs> for me, it was, it was special and uh, that's why I remember if someone remind me the, the world, Istanbul 2005. Of course, big win for, for, for Liverpool, for our team, but big win, big win for myself as well. And you spoke about Stevie Gerrard there, how much you're looking forward to playing with him and how good is he still now? Yeah, well... Every, every Legends game, he shows his class and uh, we'll see how fit is he now. I don't know if he's still fit uh, enough, uh, but I think he will be fine. And uh, he's, even in these games, he's still leader for us, uh, you know, and uh, he's an important player. Even, I know it's an exhibition game, but on Tanfield, he always wants to win.